fun to have Irene O'Connor co-hosting. Up to our old tricks. Up to our old <laughs> tricks again. Welcome to Great Day. 9 a.m. Scott Henney. And I'm Irene O'Connor in for Nicole today. And she's at the Big E. And she we're going to be talking e. to got her. got a lot going on. Yeah, we got a lot going on today. And we want to get to our headlines, too. Police in Bristol are asking for help as they try to track down the people who are responsible for spreading racist graffiti around the city. Someone drew a racial slur in chalk in Rockwell Park over the weekend. And other vile symbols, including a swastika, were spray painted at the intersection of Shagbark and Deer Park Roads. Investigators are asking anyone with security cameras in that area to share a video to see if they can help identify who's behind it. And we'll continue to follow that investigation. And as any new information develops, we'll bring it to you on air and on the Channel 3 app. Well, the investigation into a violent carjacking over the weekend just keeps getting wilder. Yeah, police say their search for the suspects behind an attack in Westport led to a chop shop in Berlin at a house that was actually listed as a vacation rental. Wow. This seems like, it almost seems like a movie, it really doesn't does. it? does. Westport police have been looking for the people who followed a man home, attacked him in his garage, and stole his Aston Martin. Now investigators say a house on Orchard Road that's actually listed on uh, VRB. Verbo, is, uh, yeah. Verbo. It's a yeah. chop shop. It's crazy. And that's, that's where crazy. they found the Aston Martin. Three other stolen cars were also found there. Two arrests have been made in the case. 39-year-old Derek McGill, who was caught at the house, and a 16-year-old a 16-year-old arrested wow. in Waterbury. All right. That is completely, it really is like it's out of a movie. It, and the, the video was so terrifying. It's so, distur it's oh, so disturbing. It's so terrifying. So disturbing. Like, mm -hmm. what are these people doing? Police haven't released how the 16-year-old is connected uh, to McGill, but I'm sure we're going to find that out in coming days. And there's also a public safety forum tonight at 7 for Westport residents. So. Yeah, I mean, you really got to be aware of your surroundings. I think that's the big thing yeah, here. I'm, I'm going to tell yeah. you one thing. When I get in my car in the morning, mm -hmm. I'm in my, in my garage. Right. I'm in my car. I open, I lock, I get in the car, I lock the doors. Yes. And then I open the garage door. Yeah. And then I back out. Yeah. I mean, I'm in the going, car. I'm, you're at 2.30 in the morning. 2.30 in the morning. It's totally dark. You know, it's, it's hard to see what's going on anyway. So. It's crazy. Yeah, so you got to be aware. Yeah. Got to be aware. All right. Mm -hmm. And let's be aware of the weather because it's spectacular. All right. It is just going to be an it's absolutely gorgeous out there. Gorgeous day. As you can see from First Alert Live Radar, we are standing the state dry. Take a look at First Alert Future Cast for the rest of today. We started off with a couple of clouds. I but those clouds are going to be history by this afternoon. We're looking at an amazing forecast, not only for today, but for tomorrow and for Friday. Excellent. Unfortunately for the weekend, it's an ill-timed event. We have an area of low pressure which is forming to our south. Uh, could become tropical. The National Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on it. And that is going to have an influence on our forecast this upcoming weekend, both Saturday and possibly for Sunday as well. But Saturdays now, it's looking like the wetter of the two weekend days will certainly keep you posted. For the remainder of today, though, look at golden sunshine. Oh, it's so Tem nice. Isn't it 73? It's, it's perfection. No, temperatures should be at about 74 for this time of year. And then your three-day forecast, abundant sunshine today. Tomorrow, Oh, okay. uh, congrats to LaShawn. Uh, this is our hometown scramble. Our hometown scramble winner. Oh, okay. Congratulations. Well, congratulations. <laughs> um, her, I, I forget, love it. For, for, it's LaShawn. Lash, I can't remember her name. <laughs> anyway, but anyway, congratulations. congratulations. She won. Yay. Yay. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. So what else is going on? Hey, so this is pretty cool. The city of Hartford is taking a new approach to prioritize self-care. And the best part, it's free. Access to mindfulness and mental health resources are a part of a brand new initiative in the capital city. Yeah, like many cities, Hartford has seen an uptick in mental health-related issues since the pandemic. City residents, employees, and employees of Hartford Public Schools will all get a free one one year subscription is awesome. to the Headspace app. It's such a great app. In addition to other resources, the city says this is a first of its kind approach. I absolutely love this. I was watching Eyewitness News last night and they previewed this and I was like, this yeah. is so wonderful. And I, I think it, the, and the woman's name is Wisdom. Her first name is Wisdom. Perfect. And, like, and she's got a lot of it. Uh, yeah. And her, it's like Dr. Wisdom and I forget her last name, but she was incredible. And she heads up that Headspace uh, app. So check yeah. that out. It's a free resource. I would totally 
use right. it. Right, yeah. As soon as I, I mean, learn how to download you something. Usually, <laughs> we'll work on that after the show, but you usually have to pay for it, and the fact that they're offering that to everybody in the city is awesome. A one year subscription yes. for free. It's fantastic. How a awesome great is that? resource. A great resource. All right, you may have noticed uh, Nicole is not here today, right? Yeah, since I'm sitting here, it should be pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We sent our crew to Connecticut Day at the Big E, anchored by Nicole. And she joins us live from the Connecticut State House. And there's a reason for that. Hey, Nicole. Oh, hey guys. Wow, I have to say, we're really living it up already. And it's only nine in the morning at the Connecticut State House here in West Springfield at the Big E. This is such a great time of the year for everyone. It's a tradition for families to come out. And it's a tradition for us to be here on Connecticut Day. This is a very exciting day for the state of Connecticut. In fact, our lovely producer, Becky, is going to take those donuts away before I eat all of them. I'm joined by Anthony. Anthony, it's named so nice, they named him twice. And Anthony oversees all of the tourism in the state of Connecticut. So he joins me with kind of a preview of what you can expect if you're coming today. So thank you so much for getting up early with us. Thank you for having me with you. This is exciting. It's so yeah. exciting. So talk to me. There's 12 new uh, vendors that are coming to the additional 36 that we all we're already see every year. Right, right. All right. So we, you know, it, what we have here in the Connecticut building is a microcosm of the state. A little up, something for everybody to find their vibe. So if you're a foodie, we have a couple of new food vendors. So you have TJ's on Cedar, which has giant uh, pretzels. Oh. And you have Hot Taco, which obviously tacos and panzanella. Mm -hmm. But if you're into something a little bit more experiential, we have an escape room. And that is awesome. Yeah, for those Marcy for... Jones, actually, uh, she's going to be right. doing that a little bit later okay. on in the program. All right, I want, I'm curious to see if she makes it out in the 20 oh, no. minutes. Great. <laughs> And then for those who uh, you know maybe want to buy something, we have jewelry and a bunch of different Connecticut-grown grown products. Don't sleep on Connecticut-made wine. I'm going to pitch for them. <laughs> yep, yep. And then we also have a, a, a beer garden outside. 100 different craft brews on rotation, including Athletic Brewing. Oh, and Athletic Brewing. You, we've got one. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So Athletic Brewing is the nation's largest uh, non-alcoholic craft brewery. So, mm. right here, Connecticut made. Which is wonderful. What right. a great option for people who do not want the Ag alcohol. Agreed. Yeah. They're, they're exactly. absolutely fantastic. You never know it's not beer. And then, uh, you've got right there in your right hand, pickle brew. There is a pickle, brew. pickle in this beer. Yeah. All right. You got to love pickles. All right. Oh, that tastes really good. Give me a review. I love anything with pickles. I would drink All vinegar. Right. So All right. This is, All right. Like, You're this is right. Right up my alley. You're at home. You're at home right here in the Connecticut building then. Oh, That's right. Um, it's so exciting for people to come out from our state and come into this building. It's such a staple to visit the state buildings. It is. Um, you know, what, what would you say is the appeal for the younger kids who come here? You know what? I think it's just a little opportunity to see something different, but also like on specifically today, got 12 hours of live entertainment. That's awesome. And then also for the sports fans out there, whether you're young or, or young at heart, Donovan Klingen, star center from the UConn men's basketball team. He will be here this evening signing autographs and saying hi to everybody. Everyone will be looking up to him. Yes, they will. Yeah, and I heard that uh, Mass Confusion, the Savage Brothers are some of the acts that will be playing out front. And what a great way to just showcase everything that our wonderful state has to offer. Indeed, indeed. That's what Connecticut is. We have many, many different things that are fantastic. I highly encourage people to come out and see what we're all about. Anthony, thank you so much for all that info. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm going to enjoy my pickle beer, so we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, and Nicole, I love the balloons. It's, it's kind of like a Syracuse theme with the orange and the blue. <laughs> it is, or a great day at 9A theme, Scott. Oh, oh yeah, that too. Oh, that too. <laughs> Syracuse. Oh, got she's Syracuse wonderful. Syracuse on the brain. I do have she Syracuse. She looks fabulous out she there. She totally what a looks fun, fabulous. Fun day. The, Absolutely. It's Connecticut day at the Big E. What's better than that? Go and celebrate. Absolutely.